How was that uh, experience? I mean, was it strange to be abroad for the first time? Did you feel at home there? Um, no, not really. Uh, well, I must say that. You see, the thing was that I'd already been, I'd already been at one university, and in a, in an abnormal country, my own country. Um, uh, I mean, and which meant that the university I had been was one where polit- uh, p- politics were inevitable, and uh, where one actually, where education was a country where education was a prize rather than a social, just a social thing. But you see, it also, I was suddenly among people for whom um, education was not so important at all. I mean, m- the majority of the students uh, I was with were all from the English upper classes, and uh, some of them from the aristocratic classes. I remember an 18-year-old um, Lord somebody or other, um, and then another Lord somebody or other. And um, the way the lecturers, the Johns, you know, w- would really crawl, uh, you know, uh, yeah, to, to them, you know. Um, and so on and so on. In other words, what I'm saying is that suddenly I was among people for whom education was merely nothing at all, just a social thing. Right. That um, right. w- one of them was a guardsman, one of the Queen's guards, you know, those people who wear the bare heads right. um, at Buckingham right. Palace. Yeah. And uh, actually, uh, at the very first um, meeting with the lecturers to determine the timetable of tutorials and lectures, um, he simply said, uh, I say, look here, um, I don't want to uh, do all this hard work you've been telling us we've got to do. I just want to uh, just come up from the guards and I want to just do the minimum. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. I'm here just uh, for, the so- for social reasons and I don't want to work hard. And I thought the lecturers would blow up and shout at him or something. They didn't. They made a smile at him and they said, oh yes, Peter, that's his name, Peter Carey. Um, um, well, um, they wrote down the minimum he needed to study for the three years to get his degree. And there we all were, having been given all the heavy load to... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but at the same time, uh, uh, look, I had come to England with a very bookish knowledge of uh, the country. I knew most of his authors. And um, I knew the United Kingdom only through its authors, its poets, its playwrights. Um, can, can you tell us some more about that? Because you mentioned D.H. Lawrence, uh, James Joyce, and, but by that time you were uh, familiar with more. Oh, by that time, I mean, the D.H. Lawrence thing was when I was in secondary school. Uh, but Joyce, yeah, I mean, Joyce was Dublin, where I never went, I mean, Dublin, yeah, where I never went. And then, after all, Joyce is more European than English, or Irish, actually. Um, um, uh, how can I put it? You, you see, I, I was now actually on the soil where all these writers I've been studying for years and years, um, I had lived and died, and, uh, and yet the reality was so disappointing. Oxford has got one of the highest unemployment uh, figures um, in, uh, in in England, let alone compared to Scotland. The city of Oxford. The city of Oxford, yeah. And uh, Oxford yeah. is also segregated. Uh, look, I thought I had left segregation behind. Um, um, it's segregated in terms of, you see, on the one side there is, if you are a student, you are actually part of the aristocracy of Oxford. Um, but there is down a there, the, down, there. down there there is a whole army a whole thousands and thousands of ordinary workers who have lived and worked there and uh, who are, some of them are thousands are unemployed who live on social security um, there in Oxford and their job is either the only I'll say the only two industries in Oxford are either to work for the students sweeping our rooms cleaning up the university, and so on and so on, so on. or working for British Leyland, the car company yeah. at Coley, the Coley Car Works. Mm. Now, um, the residential areas, their residential areas are totally cut off from the university. Mm. And uh, frankly, the same kind of segregation 
apparently as the Jews are there. <laughs> and if you try to cross the boundaries, if you as a student try to drink in pubs where the workers drink, you'd get beaten up. I got beaten up myself when I tried to drink with uh, um, I got tired of the student pubs and I wanted to drink in pubs where there were some you know, where there were some other black people. You know, there are many West Indian um, uh, uh, many West Indian workers mm -hmm. um, in Oxford, um, and the West Indians are actually the majority of blacks um, uh, in Oxford, <laughs> and I think in the whole of the UK. Uh, the, of course, the second largest are the Asians, <coughs> um, and um, they beat me up. I think it was from the way I talked. That the man said, "Ah, you are a student, aren't you?" It's not because you're black. No, just being a student. Mm. But I mean, you, you, you belong to them. You are, you are one of them. Yeah, yeah you are not one of us. Um, and uh, that's really... That began to show me the irrelevancy of uh, being part of Oxford University. Um, that, oh shit. Right now I've crossed that green belt. Yeah, from the old township. From the old township. And now, the other side no longer wants me. <coughs> they, um, <coughs> I, I, I belonged nowhere. All the time I was in Oxford, I belonged nowhere. I was uh, rebelling against being part of the official University of Oxford atmosphere. The, but the side I wanted to be with, while continuing my studies, did not want me because I was one of them. Studying well, I was one of those, <laughs> and so I began to drink very heavily, and just to play my classical music and just read and drink, read and drink. Um, uh, and uh, with how many blacks you were there? Um, in my college, I was in New College. You know, Oxford is made up of twenty-five colleges, and I was in New College. Um, that's Harold Wilson's um, old college, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, al almost all their bloody politicians have passed through there. Uh, and uh, I, was, uh, I was aware of this long tradition, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, we were only two blacks in my college. But the other black guy was uh, from uh, the United States, um, Jonathan Stubbs. Uh, yeah, that's his name, Jonathan Stubbs. He... Um, he was doing uh, he was doing his doctorate in um, international law uh, about an economic agreement between Japan and China where possible. And you weren't and a literature. Uh, uh, I was doing literature. Uh, you see the guy is in House of Well, there was another in black guy uh, you had some discussions about how to how well to be conscious of your black skin. Well, the parody of the, with the title of a parody of Franz Fanon. Yeah, um, uh, that uh, black skin what mask? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's the guy I modeled. Uh, that In reality, he didn't commit suicide. Now, I mean, in the story, I say he committed suicide, but in reality, he didn't. Uh, he's now actually, um, he's now actually a very uh, successful lawyer in New York. Uh, <coughs> yeah, but you see, we had nothing in common, really. He didn't know anything about Africa. And I didn't know anything about um, the United States. Yeah, because I'd, I'd never been there. I mean, I'd only read about it. I'd read about the militants, the black American militants. Yeah. And what I expected him to be, actually, was to be a militant in, in the line of Malcolm X or uh, Martin Luther King or um, uh, that guy, um, what's his name? Um, the one who who started the Back to Africa movement, Gavi, is it Michael Gavi, uh, who wanted to bring all the ex-slaves back to Africa? Um, yeah, M no, M M Marcus Gavi, uh, and so on and so on. In other words, um, I had a literate, a, a literature type of image of the a black American intellectual, and he was none of these things. He was simply a quiet, very conservative intellectual. Who enjoyed to the system of Oxford. Yeah, and he fitted in very well. 
he got along very well with everybody there. Um, they never quite understood why I was having problems. Um, why I was smoking dope, why I was um, uh, always discontented, blah, blah. You must be very lonely there. Well, why yeah. Not? Because you... The other thing, you, were, you, were, you were the only black one that had those feelings. Well, there's no one I could actually talk to. Um, who, who would understand what I was, the reference points I was referring to in all my conversation. And um, in terms of literature, for instance, one problem I started having was that I was, uh, I was increasingly um, have, I was increasingly g getting this problem of um, um, I did not like objectivity the objective uh, way of looking at uh, poetry, at uh, a play or at a novel, I was treasuring more and more the personal response rather than a response full of footnotes. Um, and this was estranging me from my lecturers because they kept saying that Ambozo, your essay was very good, but it's all personal. It's all personal. It's not objective. Let's say, but well, well, what else do you want? I'm telling you exactly how I respond to that text. I say, no, but um, um, you've got to substantiate in an objective manner what um, you were bloody say. And as um, increasingly being frustrated by that, um, because literature for me was becoming personal. I was now writing more and more. You see, when I was at the University of Rhodesia, before going to Oxford, um, um, I, I had started publishing uh, some poems with um, um, uh, the only poetry magazine here called Two Tone, Two Tone Magazine, which was at the time edited by uh, his, um, he's a white guy, um, uh, but politically, I mean, he's one of us, he's Colin Style. Uh, I don't know if he's here now, he's still in London, I last saw him in London. Um, uh, it's a reading way to read our poems together. Um, I published that, and uh, it also does publishing even more in magazines in London. Uh, for me, you see, studying literature was becoming a very personal thing. And then at the same time, uh, my lecturers were asking me to be objective. To be objective. At the very point when I was losing my uh, scientific sense of <laughs> 